This is a video about Greek word order that goes with section 17 of Hansen and Quinn's Greek, an intensive course. And you can find this section on page 30 in Hansen and Quinn. The neutral word order in Greek, that is to say, the usual default word order in Greek is SOV, which is subject, object, verb. That's the neutral. That's the, what you expect. So we would see Hohomeros ton adelphon paidewe as the neutral version of this sentence. Now, the neutral version in English is SVO, subject, verb, object. And so the neutral way to translate this sentence into English is Homer educates his brother. So in Greek, Hohomeros, the subject, comes first, the object ton adelphon comes next, and the verb comes last, SOV. But in English, to, the way to express that neutrally in English is to put Homer and then the verb and then the direct object. The subject, the verb, the direct object. Homer educates his brother. Any variation on that neutral word order in Greek changes the emphasis. So Greek has the freedom because of case to move words around and use that different word order to change the emphasis of the sentence instead of the meaning of the sentence, which of course the changed word order would do in English. So if we make it paideoe ho homeros ton adelphon, the implication is that that first word is more important in some way, that we're stressing it. And so Homer educates his brother. That's really what he's doing. He's educating his brother. Or perhaps it answers the question, what's Homer doing? Homer educates his brother. Paideoe ho homeros ton adelphon. Or we could move the brother to the beginning, ton adelphon ho homeros paideoe, and then the, the emphasis is something more like Homer educates his brother. Or perhaps it's answering the question, whom is Homer educating? Oh, his brother is Homer educating, or Homer educates his brother, or it is his brother Homer educates. And that's the basic idea with Greek word order. You're normally going to expect the subject at the beginning, the verb at the end, with the object um, and other things in between. Any variation on that will give you something to change about emphasis. Sometimes Hanson and Quinn sentences um, in the exercises for your practice won't give you enough context to say exactly the best way to emphasize things in English, but this gives you a sense of what to expect as neutral and what to look for when you want to see if something may be being emphasized by an author. Enjoy starting to read some real Greek sentences.